Hi, beautiful people. You're welcome back to Prudy's Kitchen. So today, we're making some whole wheat biscuits for all my Weight Watchers, for we mamas that just want to enjoy a cup of coffee with some biscuits without the guilt. And before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I make a new video. So let's get into the video. Right here, I have 500 grams of whole wheat flour, 100 grams of organic honey, 50 grams of water, 100 grams of vegetable oil, some vanilla butter aroma or whatever aroma you like, 15 grams of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and some cookie cutters, any shape you like. In a bowl, I added my organic honey, the vegetable oil, my butter vanilla aroma. Actually, I love the butter vanilla flavor. So if you, if you want another aroma, you could actually add cinnamon or only vanilla or only butter flavor. And then I added some baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, 50 grams of water. Now, the water, I added 50 grams first because you have to add the water slowly to make sure that the dough doesn't get too soft, okay? I mixed up 50 grams first and then now I'm adding my wheat flour. I added the wheat flour and mixed it up and then while I was mixing, up, mixing it up, I found out that it, the dough was too strong, okay? So I added 50 more grams of water, making it um, a total of um, 100 grams of water. So you have to add 100 grams of water, but slowly, okay? So that the dough doesn't get too wet or too strong. You have to check as you go. It has to be stronger than a pizza dough, but not, is, and not, not soft at all. It has to be a bit stronger than a pizza dough, but not too strong. So right now, I'm mixing it up on the countertop. You have to knead and um, I think for like five minutes before you get this smooth, firm dough. And then I'm rolling it out right now. I rolled it all out. Yeah, I rolled it all out. And you know, you don't have to roll it thick. I'm um, sorry, thin, unless you really want your cookies to be very thin, which I don't like my cookies thin. I like it, you know, thick and um so that when i dip it in the coffee or in the milk it just gives me that richness in my mouth so so um i chose two um shapes right here okay so you could choose any shapes you want for cutting the cookies or you could even use a cup if you don't have a cookie cutter okay so i used the two cookie cutters and i cut it all up and right now i already i'm already preheating my oven at 180 degrees okay so I removed the extra dough and I lined my baking pan and then I laid it all up on the baking pan so don't don't get them close too close to each other because you know they need space to rise a bit and to breathe so i actually made this in two batches and then the extra that i removed i rolled it i kneaded it again and then i rolled it out and cut it up again so right here my cookies are ready i bake them at 180 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes until they are golden brown and that's it you have it that's my cup of milk and I'm just going to dip it and just enjoy it. Okay. I hope you try this recipe. Thank you so much for watching me and see you next time. Bye.